Boom sugar, look at ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters around the world. This is your boy Chris Shul, aka the Esoteric Noetic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you all know that I have a new video that has dropped on Odyssey, aka Library. Now, for the first time, I'm not featuring it on YouTube because YouTube, as much as I love you, YouTube, you're beautiful. Um, you're not obviously a fan of free speech, and you've been censoring a lot of my videos as of late, so I don't want to take the chance of having this video striked again, because if I receive another strike, I'm out of here. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be uh, posting any content that can even be perceived of as going against the narrative on my Odyssey slash library channel. Also, I've started a new channel, just in case you want to know, uh, called Exoteric Noetic, speaking about things in a more public manner that uh, I think will be more palpable to YouTube's uh, standards. So if you want to check that channel out, I have a link uh, to it on this channel right here. If you have a look at the, the, the playlist, you'll be able to find Exoteric Noetic, and you can check out all the videos that I've been covering in regards to what's going down in terms of activism, in terms of the boom shagalaka. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I thought I'd give you a little intro about the podcast and uh, go check it out for yourself on Odyssey. Check out the link below. Check it out. Also, tech, check out the Telegram group. But yeah, you'll find this interesting. Basically, I talked to Chris Edwards about activism, about finding common unity. We talk about our different approaches towards activism. Chris is more focused around solutions, trying to get people to uh, to come together. And I am more focused around um, spreading an understanding of, of human rights, of natural law, freedom, and trying to um, get people to value these things through culture and uh, through an understanding that regardless of what what the circumstances may be, our rights are unalienable, and they're enshrined within the Constitution, and they're given to us through the uh, axiomatic principles inherent within the universe, or for God, or through God, for a better word. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to check it out. Peace out. Keep it real. Signing out. Chris Shul. Ow! Every time my rights are, are impugned upon, mm -hmm. it, it, it hurts. Every time... I see it happen to someone else. Mm -hmm. It hurts me. And, and so whilst you're there telling me all of that, stuff, I want you to know that we're all hurting whilst you're saying all of that stuff. That hurts, right? Mm -hmm. And then through that pain, and, and, and if you don't think having your human rights ignored or having your human rights abused or having someone say, maybe we should abuse your human rights. If you don't think that is a pain, please, please do some reading about human rights. Please do some reading about some people that have done incredible things for human rights and gone to incredible lengths for human rights. If you want some proof about how important these things are. Yeah. And it's because we know how much it hurts when we, we, we uh, take someone's human rights away. Sure. What is liberty? What the? Who says you can't build a muscle on a vegan diet? What's it like being a, a hottie in the vegan community? There are no political solutions, only technological ones. The economics of the system don't allow multiple competing systems to survive. Engineering, technology, these arts of humanity, they are magic.